Good morning, everybody. It's 8 o'clock, and thank you so much for joining us on Take Two. Kelly and Ross here. Time to break down the top stories of the day. And we start off this morning with some breaking news in Waimanalo, where a rally is just getting underway at Sherwood Forest. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from the scene with the latest. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Kelly and Ross. Take a look at this demonstration going on right now. It's been going on for the last hour where there are about uh, 50 to 100 people out here showing a demonstration to stop the construction of a sports complex that was set to build here at Share Woods. Now, here joining us on take two, we have Wai Ale Ale, who is a board member of Share Our Safe uh, Share Woods. Good morning. Good morning. So, tell me what are your thoughts so far about the response this morning? We're so fortunate that our community has so much passion and care for for our cause, right, to save, save our Sherwood. So mm -hmm. we're really pleased um, and thankful that they're here, that they've taken the time to participate. We know it's our own community. We know it's the neighboring communities that have shown so much aloha for, for our cause. And, you know, we've been following this story for quite some time now. Is there something that you think our city leaders are missing about this situation? You know, we, we the one thing we constantly hear is about enabling our communities, whether it's through our neighborhood boards or whether it's through these master plans that um, have been developed by our government. And we want to hold true to that. We want to, um, we want our leaders to say, hey, what do you need? What do you want? And we want them to honor that commitment. And we, we are clearly um, struggling right now at this point um, to agree to what our collective future is. And you know, a big concern from what I understand is the possible threat of uh, this construction has on the Hawaiian burials that have been in place here. But the mayor's office did send out a statement saying that none of this project would be affecting any Hawaiian burials. What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Is he right? Well, it makes it, it's, it's difficult, right, to say that nothing is um, impacted. When we know it's on the federal register, we found the documents, it's clearly on there. We have maps that show that. That maps were provided at the neighborhood board meeting last month. Um, and at this point, we're, we're asking for a response, for clarity on, tell us that the registry is incorrect. Tell us that the federal government is incorrect. Um, and that's the response we're waiting for. And, you know, what would you say to the opposers who maybe support this project, who say, you know what, this is a sports complex for our keiki, this is something great for our community. What would you say to those supporters? There are friends, there are neighbors, there are ohana, right? There are also our community members. And the one thing that I would ask is how do we come together to have that conversation mm -hmm. about what we can do together? We, what I don't want to see is that this project divides our community because beyond this project, we are going to exist together, right? This is where we choose to spend our lives. This is where we're going to raise our families. Our children are probably in the same schools together. Um, and we aloha them j just as much as they've shown aloha to us, for sure. We see them in the supermarket. We still say aloha and hello. So I don't want this project to divide us. This has to be a project that gets us tighter and closer as a community. And just tying on to that answer right there, City Council Member Akaika Anderson uh, suggested that this project kind of come to a halt until both sides can meet a resolution. Do you think there is a middle ground resolution to this? I think there is, but there has to be an opportunity for us to talk about it, right, so that we can have this shared understanding. We absolutely can see why they're so um, passionate about this project, and I know that they can see why we're so passionate about it. So how do we find that middle ground together is what I'm asking. Thank you so much, Waiale, for just joining us here on Take Two and for sharing your thoughts. And, of course, we will be here throughout Take Two giving you live updates about what's taking on at Share Woods and how there's a small demonstration to stop the construction of a sports complex. Until then, I'm going to go ahead and send things over to Ross and Kelly in the studio with more. Thank you very much, Dallas. New this morning.